Hey, hello, Ani, Bujou. Uh, my name is Joseph Boyden. I'm a novelist, I'm a writer. I take ideas that come in my head and I try to put them out onto paper so that other people might read them and, and enjoy my stories. Uh, I want to speak to you today uh, from the heart, from a place that isn't always an easy place to speak from, because uh, you're very vulnerable when you speak from the heart. Uh, when I was about 15 years old, I, I knew that something was really wrong with me, but I put up a really, really good pretend face. Nobody else seemed to know. You know, I was doing okay in school, I was playing football and hockey and lacrosse and stuff, but uh, something inside of me was hurting so bad that I didn't understand what it was, and I didn't know what to do. And it, the pain it felt, it wasn't like a physical pain, it was a psychic pain. It was a pain from the inside that I just didn't understand. And I took to cutting myself open or burning myself with cigarettes to try to kind of release that pain from my body. And I was very good at hiding it. And when we talk about pain, it's very easy and very, uh, it's, it seems the right thing to do to hide it because you, you don't want to put the burden on, on, on other people. You want to hold it in. And that's what I do. I held it in until it was almost too late. On my 16th birthday, I attempted uh, to kill myself in a very serious way. And uh, it shocked all the people who loved me, my very big family, uh, my friends, everyone was like, what? What did you do? Why did you do this? What's wrong with you? And it was like, I just didn't want to go on anymore. And that's when I realized that something had to change. I realized that I was lucky. And it doesn't sound like I was lucky, you know, I was a mess, but I was lucky because what I tried to do didn't work. Uh, here I am, 34 years almost to the day later. I'm going to be 50 on Halloween. Uh, and I tried to commit suicide on my birthday on Halloween at the, when I turned 16. Uh, and here I am almost you know, 34 years later to the day telling you what you got to do is allow yourself to be vulnerable, to speak from the heart if you're hurting, to tell people, to speak to that one person, whether it's a buddy, or, or a loved one, a mother, a dad, an uncle, a friend, someone you trust. If you're hurting, don't keep it inside because all it does is it's going to build and build and build in, in a way that, that can uh, damage uh, that you don't want. Uh, trust me, you know, I've become, I've become what people call successful in life. You know, I'm a writer now and I've, I've, I've sold a lot of books and I'm really lucky I've traveled the world. But it isn't even that that makes me happy that I failed at what I tried to do. What makes me happy is the small things in life. Getting a new dog, going fishing, uh, getting to hang out and sometimes even fight with my own son. Uh, the whole idea is you've got to release that pain if you're feeling that inside and find it in a positive way uh, and speak about it. Uh, I, 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 uh, I'm happy to be vulnerable with you today. I'm happy to be able to share this message with you um, because I'm really happy. I'm going to be 50 on Halloween and I'm still here. Miigwech, thank you.